Hello and welcome back to lesson 9 in the BandLab tutorials. This is the final lesson. In the previous lesson, we learned all about how to record in your own vocals at home into BandLab. Today, I'm going to show you how to put on some really cool effects on those vocals. Let's re-listen to the vocal that I put in last time. Nice! So, just to recap, if you go down to the bottom here and click on Source, this is where your input is. BandLab should automatically pick up your microphone if you've got one plugged in, or the internal microphone in your laptop or your computer, or your headphones. If you click on Monitoring, Hello and you speak, you can hear yourself back in your headphones. If you click on effects, you can hear that I've put a reverb effect on it. But what I want to show you today is I want you to go down to the bottom left hand side and click on editor. And you get this tab pop up. So you can do some pretty cool things in here. First of all, what I'm going to show you is the pitch shifting. So what you need to do is make sure you've got the track selected. Click on the audio that you want to manipulate. There it is, you've just got to find it. So it's around bar seven. So pitch shifting, if you click the plus button, it's going to pitch shift it up and that's going to make it sound higher. Let's have a go. So I've pitch shifted this up seven semitones. Let's have a listen. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to pitch shift it down. So I want to take it back to zero. Once it's at zero, now I can go down into the minus. There you go. So I've pitch shifted it down by six semitones this time. And let's have a listen. I feel like this is a really cool effect, especially if you're making like dance or electronic music. I'm just going to bring this back to zero now. Another cool feature, which you can do, is play around with the playback rate. So if you click the plus button, it's basically going to speed it up. And if you click the minus button, it's going to slow it right down. So let's slow it down. You can see the audio, audio file is being stretched. Cool. Let's have a listen. Pretty cool. Now let's speed it up. If you remember when it was on one, that was normal. And um, we're going to speed it up now. You can see the audio file getting smaller. Let's have a listen. And it's sped it up. One last thing I'm going to show you is reverse. So let me go find my audio file. And then I'm going to click on reverse. And you can see that it's flipped the waveform. Let's have a listen. Amazing. So have a go at home yourself and let me know how you get on the comments below. Thanks for watching.